all the fairings off that I need to repair. Now I just got to fiberglass it and then bondo it, sand it, then paint it. I should be able to get this thing back to 100% and it's honestly, it's probably going to run me just for this. I mean, I'm thinking about 100 bucks to get it back up and running. All right, guys, so here is the VFR's broken fairing. I can push the crack together and it'll sit pretty close to what it's supposed to. So what I'm going to do, clear cleaner. This was $7 at Lowe's and some medium cement PVC uh, clear. Uh, that was about $5 at Lowe's. So 13 bucks it was with tax. What we're going to do is we're going to use this Q-tip. We're going to use the cleaner. Take the Q-tip cleaner and then just put it in the inside of this crack as much as we can. We can't, since it's not a full crack that goes all the way through, we're not going to be able to do like much up here. We're just going to try to do the best we can as long as this holds it. And here's the uh, view from underneath. You can see just goes right up to here. So I might be able to uh, just squeeze some in, but I don't know. We'll give it a shot. Now this isn't meant to be a tutorial, so I'm not going to film everything and exactly how to do it just gonna kind of show little bits and pieces yeah see the q-tip won't fit really well in there so I'm just gonna try my best the this does come with a brush so I might try to make use of that all right so be careful with this uh, clear because it actually strips paint <laughs> luckily I'm painting it anyway but I mean if I didn't know that would have kind of sucked this and I'm just going to start coating the inside of this crack as much as I can I'm gonna be very liberal with the amount I use and once it's coated, I'm gonna take some uh, tape and just tape it shut, and I'm gonna leave it there for about a day. So I went ahead and pushed the crack together and made it look neat, and then I held it there for about a minute. And once I let go, it kind of held it together long enough for me to put some Gorilla Tape on it, and then I put the Gorilla Tape on it, and then I took clamps and pushed the clamps on the crack to line it up. So now it's sitting lined up correctly, and I'm gonna leave it there overnight. And while that's waiting, I'm going to start working on the other ones. So now I got this nasty crack. This one's a little bit harder than the other one. But yeah, we're going to just give it our best. Same thing as the last one. Going to clean it up as best as I can. And once that is done, I will go ahead and put the sealer inside. Hold it together for about a minute. Put tape on it and maybe a couple clamps if needed. And then I'm going to let it all sit and wait a day. Uh, I hate to do this, but it has to be done. Oh. I thought that was gonna come off way cleaner. <laughs> this VFR stick is so cool, but I have to paint this whole fairing. So sticker, this, this, all this has to come off. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and sand it. Not gonna wet sand it, just regular sand. This still has to dry anyway for, I mean, I think it's pretty much good to go, but I'm gonna let it dry a little extra. All right, here it is, all sanded down. There's my sandpaper covered in red, which is what you want. Now I just need to bondo it. Bondo that and bondo those, and then it's good for paint. So I took some dish soap and just sprayed these fairings down with it because that will remove all the wax. Now I'm gonna use paint thinner. All right, sand it down. All right, so here are the pieces. Unfortunately, that's all I'm gonna be able to do today, but they are sanded down and I use paint thinner on them to get as much as I could off. I'm gonna sand them again next time. It's probably gonna be a couple days because we're gonna get some rain here. But what my next thing is really to um, spot putty this and bondo this and then sand it down some more and just try to get that as flat as possible. Same with this right here. I'm gonna just try to bondo over some of these uh, scratches, make it all nice and smooth. So I might not even end up needing this. So that was seven bucks wasted. But I'm going to spot putty this and just see what happens. If I have to bondo, I'll bondo. Remember guys, wear gloves if you can. Sometimes I forget because I'm stupid. Also, it's very important to always read the directions. Always. 
clean the area. Like I like to use uh, alcohol because it evaporates very quickly. You can see it's already evaporating. So isn't this paint. <laughs> you know what I like about spot putty is you don't have to mix it. So anyway, go ahead and take a little bit of this. Okay, just apply it right over the crack. And we're just gonna smooth right over it. Just like that, and we're gonna keep doing it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna apply our first thin layer. We're gonna do that until the crack looks pretty decent. Then once we do that, we're gonna let it dry for a half hour, sand it with the 400 grit sandpaper, and we're gonna do it again, probably three times. Okay, so I did the first layer of spot putty, and it's feeling pretty smooth. I just kinda did it in any area that had scratches. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this dry 30 minutes, then I'm gonna come back and sand it, that 400 grit paper, and then I'm gonna come back, uh, and then once that's done, I'll wash it and then I'll put some more spot putty and rinse and repeat until it's good. All right, here comes the fun part. I'm gonna take some 400 grit sandpaper and I'm gonna lightly sand it. Try to get it as smooth as possible. I am now done with my second sanding. I've already coated with um, spot putty, sanded it, and I coated it again and then this is my second time sanding it. I'm just feeling right here. It's Pretty smooth, there's still some little divots right about here and here and see over here. This is that big rash that was there before. It's That's pretty tough because it's a point. I have to like create it back. So I'm not gonna get it perfect. I'm pretty satisfied with what it is now. Probably just gotta round this a little bit more with some sandpaper, but overall that's feeling pretty smooth. There's a little divot right here I gotta fill in. Um, right here, there was all that cracking material in the front head fairing, and that's actually feeling pretty smooth. Here's that big crack was, completely invisible now, one, especially once I paint it. I won't even be able to know that it was ever cracked. I just need a little bit of a uh, spot putty right there, a little lip. But overall, this is turning out pretty good. I want to film more of this, but it's, I mean, my phone is already covered with this dust. You can see, like it's everywhere, all of my table and everything. But now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clean all this dust off, some soapy, uh, some dish detergent and some water and a uh, blue rag. We'll do a good job at that. Okay, so I just did the third coat on these uh, fairings. On the camera, they actually look pretty good, but I tell you right now, in real real life, you can see lots of little, yeah, like that's terrible right there. See what the uh, spot putty is. This one came out a lot better, but I missed a scratch right there. Uh, that still needs to be sanded down a little bit more, more putty. On the inside here, you can see a lot of crap. This part right here, though, actually looks pretty damn good. I did a good job with that. Easy spot though, nice and easy to sand it flat, but that looks really nice, I'm glad with that. All right, so this has just been wet sanded. I kind of dried it a little bit, but it's still a little bit wet, which is why you see some of the stuff on here. I gotta wet sand these down more, but uh, unfortunately this didn't come out as good as I wanted. Like you can see these scratches still in here. They need to be spot puttied and flattened even more. Uh, something happened where I had to basically get the VFR ready within like a day, so I didn't have time to really perfect anything. And so I just took it all apart again, and uh, I'm gonna try to at least get the right paint color on because I had the wrong paint before. I can't mess around with this too much longer. I need to actually uh, sell the VFR. If you are seeing this video, that means it's already been sold. Okay, but anyway, we're gonna continue with this. So I got this other can of rust paint. Okay, first coat, very, very light.
Okay, that was a little bit heavier than it should have been, but that's okay. A little bit right here. Okay, good. Go to this side. heavier than I wanted to go, but that's fine. So now I've been wet sanding the uh, clear coat, just uh, using some 1000 grit. So I'm just lightly wet sanding the clear coat. I already did that piece over there. I can already see a lot of imperfections, but honestly, I'm not going to do this all again. Uh, on my last coat of clear, a friggin' bug flew right into it. You can see it right there. And there's still some scratches and high spots and low spots. It's, it's not going to be perfect, but you know what? I thought about it, and <clears throat> even if this was perfect, it would just look weird because the other side of the bike is not perfect. So whatever. A few scratches, just finish it, be done with it, put it back together, sell it. Anyway, next up is polisher. Alright, here's the final product. Let's look at the color match. I think it's pretty damn close. Um, the only bad thing is this is like a gloss color. And this is like a matte. Which, believe it or not, is how it was before when I started. And I think I could bring the gloss out if I took a polisher and put it on a spinning wheel. And I might still do that. I recut all the vinyl and put them right there just like how it was before. Nothing goes in that hole anymore because the piece broke. Right now this is all just taped, but I might put vinyl there too. Just vinyl wrap this uh, Honda thing. Or I might just leave it. I don't think it affects the resale value that much, but we'll see. Over here we do have orange peel and just general bad texture. Um, there's nothing I can really do for that. Here was that big crack before. Pretty much completely sealed except for right in there. Again, if I just had more time for more prep work, I could have got it really good. Overall though, I think it came out pretty good. I mean, at first glance, you don't notice it at all. I'm, I think I'm gonna still polish it up a little bit, make it a little bit uh, shinier. But come on, I mean. <laughs> That, that looks really good and I'm looking at the camera right now and I'm looking in person and the camera's not like distorting anything or making it look better than it actually is this is actually what it looks like so I'm pretty happy about that so anyway guys uh, this is the end of the BFR but it's on to newer and better things because I have something that's going to replace this BFR and 
I'm sorry, Vicky. I'm going to miss you. You're an awesome bike. Gear-driven cams, V4 engine. Uh, very sporty and comfortable and just a great motorcycle. But it, it is time to move on. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care and bye-bye. Sick news for your little errors out. Let me live my life for one. I better leave all the blondes of fantasies. And we looked at them 11 ways. You said, Look at me.